I think I just like to make noise. That was like what was cool, because that's what my brothers did. My dad played the guitar, so there was always like guitar around the house. He taught me a couple chords, and I kind of just played like those same four chords for years, like for a long time. The interest was always there, but then I like really got into skating, and I, it kind of just like took over. I just thought like, oh, if you're not skating, like you're blowing it kind of thing. <laughs> I was watching Stranger Things and I fell in love with that show. I liked the soundtrack so much, but I didn't know what I was hearing at all. And then I asked my roommate and he was like, oh, well, they use a bunch of synths in that show. And I was like, oh, like, what is a synth? Like, how can you, how do you use a synth? Like, so I looked up synth on Google and I bought the first one I saw and uh, showed up at my door and just kind of looked at it, plugged it in, looked at all the lights. And I was like, whoa, this thing's crazy. And like, didn't know how to use it at all. Probably like sat there for, almost a year before like either of us really dove in and like knew what this thing was capable of. So I went to the music store and I was like, hey, I got this synth and I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to record anything. I don't know how to get sounds out of it. And um, he of course was just kind of like, like what? Like you just gotta plug it in <laughs> and uh, you need an interface and there you go. Like this is your little setup. He kind of set me up with a little thing and all I wanted was sounds from Stranger Things. So they were like, kind of like 80s-ish, but sort of in the dubstep realm <laughs> and like pretty EDM. So me and my roommate would just like make sounds and mash things together and put them on the timeline and just like basically just dubstep. <laughs> and then I kind of like would just make music that I thought was cool to skate to, but that wasn't really what I wanted to be making. I, Cause I, I really like like Max Marco, I like Bane's World a lot. And I just kind of really like their sounds and I just wanted to try to recreate them. And I thought it was kind of cool that I could just do that at home. My friend Dylan told me like, oh, like I have a friend Bobby who, who's a mixing engineer. I hit him up when I felt confident in what I had. And I was like, hey, like I, I'm making these songs and I don't know like how to get them ready for like the public. Like I, all I know is just like how to record them in, in my room and that's it. Bobby helped me kind of like get on the right track as far as like putting out a single or like a song to the general public. We had a couple songs that were finished and mixed for a while and uh, I just never pulled the trigger and like told him to like master one because I kind of just honestly was too scared to put something out. During quarantine, I was back home in New Jersey and I finally, you know what, like I gotta just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put a song out. And he was like really encouraging me. Bobby was like, dude, you gotta put a song out because everybody's just sitting home right now. They're just listening to music, watching TV, doing whatever. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Let's do it, let's do it tomorrow. So he like sent me the master the next day. Um, the single's called Eight Weeks. It's a, such a learning process, but it was, uh, I'm glad I did it, thankful I did it. And now it just makes doing it again that much easier and just a lot of fun. People have hit me up to make songs for like their video parts and stuff, which is pretty cool. Cause it gives me an opportunity to, to kind of like explore a different realm of music. Just cause I kind of like to make like a little bit more like chill, kind of like softer stuff, but making stuff for people to skate to is a lot different and it's a little bit more aggressive, kind of like, I don't know. You can just, I can just experiment with different sounds, which is really cool. I think the plan is just to roll out a couple more singles. Then eventually, yeah, I'd like to do an album. I really want to do an album just to say I've done it, make make vinyl, just do stuff like that, it'd be cool. I'm just kind of floating though, just, just writing stuff and seeing what sticks. <laughs>